News tonight, a big rig fire sparks a traffic nightmare. Drivers trapped for hours in a 10-mile long backup on the 5 freeway through the grapevine. KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers is at the desk. Mike, anyone who's driven the grapevine knows there are very few places to turn around. Uh, once you're in it, you're pretty much committed. You're yeah, kind of stuck. You yeah. said that this is really no way to get out of mm -hmm. Any idea when the 5 is going to fully reopen? Yeah, Susie and Jeff, so I was just talking to the CHP going through their uh, information system on their CAD, and unfortunately, they still don't have an estimated est uh, reopening time for those three and four lanes. I want to show you some video from SkyCal from earlier. Now, usually we would send SkyCal up there to show you the traffic, but uh, because it's so dark on the other side of the grapevine, it's not safe for us to fly through there. But you can see that's the mess that caused this whole thing. And look at the mess of the backup. We have those one and two lanes open, but those three and four lanes are just jammed. Now, we're fortunate enough here at KCAL News to have uh, a 24-hour next traffic team. I just talked to the next traffic headquarters in Long Beach. They say the backup, these are live pictures, by the way, from Caltrans. They're frozen images, but they update every couple of seconds. But uh, our next traffic team down uh, in our headquarters says the backup still is 10 miles, all the way back up almost to the 138. That hasn't changed at all since the beginning of this incident, since 1.30 this afternoon. Now, I was talking to the dispatchers over there at CHP. They're doing what they can. They're just kind of trying to maintain this until that big rig, though both those big rigs can be cleaned up. Unfortunately, what they're starting to deal with now is people who have become too impatient to sit in that traffic. I'm going through the information CAD here and seeing that time and again, people are calling into 911 saying people are driving very fast on the center divider and the shoulder trying to get around the traffic. That's only going to make the situation dangerous and could potentially lead to more crashes. So that's obviously not the right thing to do. I, I, if you have to go up the five tonight, I would probably suggest you don't. Your only alternatives are really up the 14 or over to the 138 and then all the way around up the 58 back into Bakersfield. So it's a very long detour if you choose to do that, guys. Good advice there. Thank you. Thanks.